Hey guys, it's WT here from the Coin Alley, and in this episode, I'll show you guys how to save those ERC20 tokens within your MetaMask wallet. Alright, so it's pretty, uh, I would say it's simple, but at first glance, it does appear to be a little bit difficult. But I'll show you guys how to do this. So recently, within MetaMask, they provided you with the option of uh, viewing your tokens, your ERC20 tokens, within the wallet. But a lot of uh, you have messaged me and you're asking about, you know, why can't I view my tokens or how do I send my tokens uh, to MetaMask? And I'll just, um, in this video, I'll show you exactly how to accomplish that task. So here's the wallet that I'll be working with today. And this is my address. And there is the tokens tab. Okay. All right, so let's start off by sending my basic attention tokens straight through to this address. So I'll withdraw from uh, Bitrix. And we will send. I need to authenticate here. And we've authenticated, and it is now withdrawing the basic attention token. It will say authorize here. I'll pause the video briefly and I'll come back and I'll continue with the, the next step. All right, let's refresh. And let's check on our withdrawal here. 77.9 on its way. Now we can verify that here on Etherscan that those tokens are here. They're right here. 79.98. I had 1.99 basic attention token already in my wallet. Now let's go back to MetaMask. As you can see, there are no tokens. And if you try to add the tokens, it will not work. Now, technically, you should be able to add the tokens from this option right here using the contract address for BAT. Normally, the contract address is found right here. And you would simply do something like this. You will copy the contract address. And let's go back to MetaMask. Sometimes I got to double click that a few times. And then technically, you should be able to hit paste the address, the token address, BAT, which is the symbol, and decimal precision is 18. Normally, you can get this information from the website of the coin that you're working with. Then you click Add. And then normally if it worked correctly it should show up here but recently um, MetaMask has been having issues with their back-end servers and you're not able to get that information here so the next best thing is to use 
my Ethereum wallet to view that information. And I'll show you how to do that. All right, so I'm pulling up my Ethereum wallet. And we're going to view wallet. We're going to select MetaMask because that's the wallet we'd like to access. Connect. Now I have two MetaMask wallets, so I need to make sure that I am using the correct one. This is not the one that I'm working with, I'm using the one that ends in. Uh, EB70, I believe, or D70. This one is my other wallet that shows up here. Now, you more than likely will only have one wallet, so you wouldn't encounter this issue, um, but I'll show you how to get that done. So let's switch back to that wallet here. And let me refresh my page. I may have to close it out and go back in again. Sometimes you have to lock your wallet and attempt to access it again. See, it's still giving me the, the old, the other wallet. So let's try locking the wallet. Lock. And then I'll close this tab. I'll attempt to log back in again. Yeah, MetaMask is very temperamental. At least that's what I've discovered when I try to use it on my PC. All right, so let's see here. MetaMask. No, I don't want to load this extension. Let's close that. All right, let's pause the video here for a brief moment so I can get this pulled back up. All right, and we are back in my Ether wallet, logging in as this address within MetaMask. Let's see here. And here you are. Here you go, 79.98 basic attention token right here within your wallet. From this point on, you can actually send tokens from my Ether wallet while you're actually logged in through your MetaMask. Now, when you go to send your tokens, you'll notice that your BAT tokens or whatever tokens you're working with is not visible. So let's go back and we'll add custom token. And then we'll need that address from earlier. 
So we pull up our ether scan. And we need that contract address, which is this guy right here. Token decimal is 18. Right, there's our address. BAT and 18 and save. All right. Now sometimes it'll duplicate and I'll try and delete one of them and see if it takes care of the others. All right, so we, we have one all right, there we go. All right, so now we have our our brief attention token or our basic attention token that we're wanting to work with. And then I'm going to go ahead and send that off to, um, I like to store them. Um, currently, I'm storing my BAT tokens within my Exodus wallet. So from here you can actually you can work with your token by sending it to an exchange, to another wallet, or you can just keep it here within um, my Ether wallet because my Ether wallet is a great window that allows you to view what is on the blockchain. Um, so you just first have to authenticate with your MetaMask, and then once you are logged into your MetaMask, then you go to the my ether wallet and log in as I just showed you alright so let's get my exodus wallet and I'm going to send those tokens over here to this address within exodus you click the drop down here select BAT. I'm sending the entire balance and I'm going to generate and send. Then MetaMask will bring up a notification asking you to validate and submit. There's our transaction on its way. Here's our confirmation number. And it should be arriving within my Exodus wallet shortly. Let's take a look at the transaction here. Now sometimes it does take a little bit of time for the transaction to show up on the blockchain. Let's close this out. And I'll pause the video shortly and I'll return as soon as the transaction has confirmed. All right, and it is currently being verified pending confirmation. Still pending. 
So it looks like there's a, a very large delay currently going on on the Ethereum network. So it is taking quite a while. Um, the timer right here is up to 19 minutes um, for that transaction to confirm. But I'm sure at some point it will confirm. But the, the main purpose of this video was to show you how to um, receive those uh, ERC-20 tokens uh, and view them on your MetaMask through my Ether wallet. So if you guys need any help with that, um, shoot me an email or comment this video or you can you know re-watch re this video. Um, that's the reason why I, um, I went ahead and created that for you guys. Um, so you have it available to refer to. All right, guys, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, please leave a comment um, with any video suggestions that you might have, things that you'd like to see in the future. Uh, also, the Coin Alley is now on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, you can go over and check out the Coin Alley. And you can like that Facebook page. I'll be posting updates there, contests, and some other stuff there once I uh, uh, get it all settled on and uh, unsquared away. I just created that account um, a couple days ago. So I'll be, um, be running some cool uh, contests over there on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, um, by all means, check it out and give it a like. Alright guys, until our next video, take care of yourself and each other, and I'll talk to you guys later.